Welcome back to Tennessee Valley This Morning. And uh, Joe and Kimpela with you again on this Friday. As promised, we are now joined by Reba Terry of The Caring Place. And Reba, thank you for being with us. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I know in the past you've sat here with a very uh, professional as in Dan. <laughs> but today's a little different. Today you're with Kim and Joe, and it's totally, it goes from up here to down here. But All right, we'll, try to, to say, right, we'll try to keep on track. Yeah, but we've got a great, well, you have a great program to Absolutely. tell us about. Absolutely. We're excited. We really are. Let's and, talk about And it. the United Way has uh, issued a grant for yes, you, right? That is and correct. so tell us about yes. how wonderful they are and how wonderful and so happy you are. I know. We're very excited. Um, we submitted a grant uh, to the United Way to um, start this program. It's called SACPAC. It's uh, not a new thing. It takes place all over the United States, but it's new to Bradley County. Um, we submitted a um, proposal for 200, uh, to fill 200 sacks a week. Um, we're distributing those to three schools. That's Walk, um, Valley View, Waterville, and Black Fox. Those um, schools were selected because of the number of students that they have or the percentage of students that they have that receive uh, free or reduced lunches. We don't identify the students. that the, We allow the teachers and the counselors to identify them. Um, so it's broken down. Black Fox has the majority and then, you know, we just right. have to split up. Um, we have volunteers that pack the sacks. I brought one to show yes. you. Yes! Oh, okay? Show us. Yeah, I want to show you. This is what the the children get home with. Um, it's a, can I rip into yes, it? Okay. And, and while we're, we're, she's ripping into it, what this is mostly is that there's a lot of kids that go hungry, that, that their, their main meals are breakfast and lunch mm -hmm. at school that are provided for them. And so what is happening is that the United Way has come in and given Caring, Caring Place a grant that they can pack lunches that these are going to be put in their backpacks That's correct. at the end of the weekend on yes, a Friday afternoon. Correct. And so these kids are going to be able to take home food so they will have some nourishment and some nutrition yes, over the weekend. That is correct. And so they won't be hungry. That's that is so wonderful. I mean, I, we were ready to cry when well, we read the, about it. The most it. wonderful part of it, I believe, is that you folks understand um, what could happen with kids? And so these kids are not giving, given the, the sack lunches in front of everybody. Uh, for, you know, it's given to them, it's placed in their backpack when they're either at lunch or at recess. So nobody knows who's getting them but that child. And so obviously as kids, sometimes kids could be cruel. So there's nobody that's going to say anything to them out of the way or make them feel bad in any way. And they're able to take these lunches home. And during even, I think, spring break, you that's even correct. said, oh, yes. this, this is a wonderful yes. program. This is. So wonderful. Go ahead. Of course, <laughs> that's, well, thank you. <laughs> um, spring break and fall break, um, they will be given two sacks on that Friday. And so it will you know, last as long as they can make it stretch. Right. Um, they may, of course, share it with siblings at home or however that happens. Although, if they have siblings at that same school, they will receive a, a package oh, as well. Um, we hope to someday maybe expand it into the middle school and high school if necessary, but we're starting, we're starting sure. here. Um, so, so there's a, a what did you dig in it? That's right, I'll dig in there. there oh, go. goodness, look, well, that's a good thing. Look what I'm going to find. If I'm going home, I'm going to get some peaches. Hey, peaches. <laughs> Oh, and these are going to be the little uh, fruit, fruit snacks. Yeah, little gummy fruit, fruit snacks. snacks. These are great. And then you've got the fast snack that's the macaroni and cheese. I haven't tried that yet. My kids got grown before this came into effect. <laughs> Too bad. I mean, right. I'm not having a baby just to do this, though. <laughs> there you go. But you just add hot water to this. Right. And so that's amazing. And they can fix that on their own. They have a couple of packs of that, as well as some raisins and some cereal. And then they have some more it looks like there's some some fruit drinks my goodness this wow. is a lot this is a lot joe doesn't eat this much in a day for wow. goodness sakes <laughs> we'll see if we can't get them and then we have the the milk that goes on the shelf guys and i don't know if you guys are aware of that but this is something we didn't have either back right. back when our kids were no young kidding. but this is milk on the shelf and then i suppose this is uh this is like some canned uh delicious beef mm -hmm. yeah entrees mm -hmm. of the beef mm -hmm. stew and everything so you've just got you've got breakfast wow. and you've got lunch and then you've got some snacks so that's, that's really right. that's really a great program and then you've got it also if they want to 
hide from <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> from the dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because in our, our chihuahua's that is bed, incredible. they've got a, a nice spoon and some napkins in there. So that's a great, now, great thing you're doing. Now, there. Reba, is every sack filled with the same exact products, or is it is it different, or is it differ maybe from week to week or month to month? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. a, it's an easy answer. <laughs> um, we try, of course, for at least a very similar right. uh, variety of those things. Right. Um, we want to for them to expect this is what I'm going to get in this bag. Um, we we promise that it's always going to be nutritional. We don't we're not going to send you know sugar cereals sure. and right. and candies home. This is food that would be nutritious for the children as best as you can do in sure. non-perishable things. Um, we want to be able to um, want it to encourage them want, when they open that pack that that they're just like, oh wow, somebody, somebody cares. cares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And somebody I saw cares. the sticker that's on here. It says that sack pack from the caring place and it says because Jesus loves you. That's that's it. a that's a that's great it. message to have on that's the weekend. It. Along with the United Ways right. label on right. I mean, the Right. Right. We don't want to forget the United Way. Right. <laughs> so um, yeah, we want to make sure that the kids know. Um, we, I was meeting with one of the principals of the schools, and I won't share that uh, specifics, but about this need, and she was confirming it by saying that on one morning, <clears throat> um, she was called out to a bus to settle a dispute that had occurred on the way to school. And she got on the bus and calmed everybody down and said, okay, nobody's getting off of this bus until we find out what happened, so somebody better start talking. And this little boy tugs at her pants and says, will I still get to eat breakfast? Oh. And the concern there was, was that he, hadn't had he, had, he was waiting for breakfast right. because the, the, free, the breakfast and lunch programs are so very important to his children. And so we just can't imagine that that happens in Bradley County. Yeah. No, but it does. We, I mean, it, but it Time does. And again. Now, how many how many kids does this help? Two hundred sacks 200 a week. Two hundred every mm -hmm. week. Wow. That's yeah. a that's a great yeah. great many yeah. of um, um, things. Now, you said that you have volunteers that come in. Yes. And if for Pack those people that might mm -hmm. want to come in and help yes, volunteer, because this is a great program. I mean, yes. she's welling up. I'm welling up. Joe, will, Joe will cry. With, I mean, <laughs> Joe cries when I cry. Right. That's amazing. Because <laughs> so, he knows if Mama's not happy, nobody's happy. No. I, but, I, I, well, the thing is. Is, is that does tug on your it heart does. because uh, children are not uh, responsible for who they're born to or where they're born or or where they live or anything like that and some of them uh, grow up very quickly yes. because they have to deal with issues yes. that maybe some other kids wouldn't have to deal That's with right. And eating shouldn't be one that a child no. has to deal with, an no. issue he should have to deal with, exactly. or her, she should no. have to deal with. No, and in these yeah. financial times, I mean, and, and sometimes it's yeah. it's no fault of the parent. I mean, things are just tough just all over, happen. and yep. it's just hard. But the children and are all are victimized. Yes. Absolutely. You know, always. Yes, and are. so it's just an effort that we want to put forth, and we're very grateful to the United Way and those who yeah. support that program in order to allow us to do this. And so we're very excited. Um, we would love to have a corporate sponsor um, that is as far as sustainability of the program mm -hmm. after the grant's gone to have someone's logo on the front that says this will corporation cares too and could help us to sustain it. Um, individual donors. Uh, well, well let me ask help. you this, Reba, like if somebody wanted to to, uh, to sponsor, I, I, obviously any donation is accepted, sure. but if it's a corporate sponsor that mm -hmm. wants to pick up the program, right. On average, for the 200 sacks, what, mm -hmm. what would they be looking at? Our grant this year was for $40,000. Okay. okay. Um, they're averaging the sacks, and now this is early on, and sure. we're, but about $4 a bag. Okay. okay. We're purchasing most of the food at the food bank in Chattanooga. Um, so as long as we can do it at that at okay. that rate. And that, of course, also includes, we have a 10-hour person that is coordinating the program, so that would be salaries for that person. but. Uh, about thirty-two thousand of that is food, as right. food right. cost out of the forty. Now um, let me ask you another question, as mm -hmm. it's coming to me here. <laughs> somebody, what if somebody, what if, what if there are people out there that say, you know what, and in looking at some of this food, what they, what they may have. Are you also accepting some oh, sure. food? Fruit. So, mm -hmm. so people. So non-perishables. We could bring a couple of cases That's of the right. juicy juices or the, you know, the, right. the, the, the and, we, and we'd like to have the like this is fiber yes. one and this is the whole grains. You know, we want something that's nutritional yes. um, as well as that. But you know, also they Lots have these raisins. Raisins. Mm -hmm. You know, a couple mm -hmm. of cases of raisins to the and you know and you can and of course it's always tax deductible. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Always. Wow. So there's lots of ways to get involved. Yes, there is. And um, we're just very grateful for the 
support that we have to begin this, and I think it will. Um, I think we'll see the increase because oh. the, the need is certainly there, and we want to be able to help folks and let them and, know we've and, not forgotten. And as we all know from living here, this community, when yeah. when there's anybody when there's to get behind age. people, yes. this community is it. Yes. I mean, that's why we're yes. the volunteer state. That's right. And I think that more folks getting to know about this, we'll start to see an increase in the food and right. the, in the funding yep. to help these kids. Now, it's elementary schools, obviously, you're talking about, is it? Every every age group from kindergarten or it's actually pre pre K through five pre K okay. through five okay. and mm -hmm. that's for three schools in the county there are county right. schools that you're serving now yes. and I'm sure you would like to broaden that base Absolutely. as as the mon money and the funds become available mm -hmm. well that's you know I, to me Reba you've got the best best job in the county oh, just about awesome. because um, yes Love she it. does uh, the caring mm -hmm. place does so many things for so many different people from all age groups from the yes. the elderly all the way down to the diapers the pre program. Pre diapers program. <laughs> Room. That's right. Yeah. And so we thank you so much thank for you. what you do. Thanks I mean, for letting you're me just, be on. You're oh, just a me. sweetheart, and, and thank you, United Way. I mean, yeah. they're always there when, when there is a need, and um, we're just we're just happy that we could, yeah. we could yeah. let the people know. And, and our buddy Matt Ryerson, that's a big part, obviously. That's right. I call him Mr. Matt now. Mr. Matt, right. <laughs> Dr. Ryerson. <laughs> Dr. Ryerson. <laughs> but, but yeah, United Way does a great job, and obviously the Caring Place. This is a wonderful program, Reba. But now if somebody wants to get involved, either as a volunteer or donate food or donate funding, mm -hmm. what number would they need okay. to call? How would they get in touch with you? All right. Our number is 472-4414, or you can go to our website at thecaringplaceonline.org. Okay. All right. Thank Terrific. You. All right. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Thank Reba, you. It's my you pleasure. My okay. pleasure. Folks, uh, again, um, give Reba a call. Help out if you can. And, and it could be an individual. And if you're a business out there that would like to maybe pick up some of the funding, as she said, when the grant goes away, uh, be more than happy to uh, to accept your donation. That's right. We'll take. Your, they'll take your money. Right, or your non-perishable <laughs> food <laughs> items. Right. You know, right. that too. Okay, thank you again, Reba. You're welcome. We've got Ron Moore in the house. We've got Rob and Ryan on the way. More to come on this Friday edition of Tennessee Valley This Morning. Stay right where you are.